Nikki on a Friday night Let's tell the story, shall we? Once upon a time, there was a little strange woman named Stephanie. Stephanie was a very concerning person, a true danger to society, considering she's a bit of a... stalker. You see, a while back, there was a news report of a ginger kid wielding a gun and a blue-haired boy performing what's known to be a rap battle on top of a building. This gathered heavy media attention. Authorities and news helicopters were instantly on the scene. It was even on live television. Everyone saw it, including the impressed and marveled Stephanie. She was so amazed by the whole event and the bravery of the blue one, that she immediately fell in love and just had to have him by any means necessary. She never had a boyfriend before, because all of the boys thought that her addiction to a pumpkin spice and all of her Ugg boots were really weird looking. She wanted her first partner to be him, so she tracked down the ginger boy and used seduction to squeeze the information from him. Unfortunately, he had no idea where he was specifically, but he did mention someone who did know. The person in question always shopped at Victoria's Secret best bet was to start there. He stupidly gave her the key to tracking down her new man's stupid man thing. Stephanie found her shopping for extra large panties for this male fussy. I, I mean, <clears throat> she found her shopping and approached them to immediately ask, where is this boy and how can I have him? Luckily, she knew just the plan. Since this woman was the mother of his girlfriend, she happened to absolutely hate his stupid guts. And the block button wasn't enough. She wanted him dead. She figured she could work with Stephanie so they both can get what they want. Her daughter is away, which means that Stephanie can have him all to herself. In order for this to work, Stephanie would be given a small amount of power just in case things got out of hand. The mother warned Stephanie to only use the powers when absolutely needed to. What she didn't warn her about is that having these powers can have a negative, overwhelming effect on the user's feelings, making them extremely angry. Just like that, Stephanie was stronger than she ever was. The mother told her that her daughter and the boy she was after were hosting an event in the middle of Times Square, New York City. With this information, she was set off to meet her one true lover.
Hey, yo, boyfriend, come here real quick. Surprised to see you here. Hey, have you heard all that noise playing below? Sounds like someone was having a good ass time down there. I'm sorry, you must be hella confused. I'm Cassette Girl. Well, a clone. Don't ask me how I know. Not too sure what happened to the original, though. You look fun! Why don't you and your little friend here start a little party with me? Come on! Right here, right now, on the rooftop. No one gives a shit here anyways. Three, two, one. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, I definitely don't feel good. I don't know what it is. I was just fine. <laughs> I was fine earlier before you came along. I think it's all the excitement that got to me. One more? Three, two, one. Oh, hey, baby, you made it. Coño, que paso? What took you so long? Right. Hey, so listen, I was shopping around and I found this cute microphone. I know Victoria's Secret sell microphones. It's cute, right? Just like you, Nova. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we? That's the now, huh? Right here in the middle of the mall. I like attention, so you should know this by now. I, 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 I,
Always know how to leave me breathless. That was good. I'm not done with you though. I want round two, baby. Let's go. I 
So boring, so incredibly